What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Crystal Walker. Okay, so we're kind of feeling a little heavy, you know. We're, we're feeling pretty good, because, you know, we earned all 16 badges. You know, that kind of stuff, and then we got the blessing of this guy, you know, to go to Mount Silver. To go dominate that thing and, you know, complete our game right here. But, we're not going to be doing that for right now. We're actually going to be doing some side quests now, since, you know, we've covered all the gyms, the places of Kanto and all that stuff, and in order to do that, we're going to have to go all the way back to Kanto, or to Johto, and, uh, well, we already got an easy way to do that since, uh, we, 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 we figured out the, the problems of Johto or Kanto here, and, uh, well, let's go back to Saffron City, and, uh, well, thanks to the Mimic Girl, she gave us a, a pass, and, you know, we got that lightning train or the magnet train, whatever it's called, and you know, we can all we can always go back to Golden Rod City, just like we did in a few episodes ago. So here we are. We're gonna go here. We're gonna talk to this guy. He's like, yes, we're gonna go to uh, to Golden Rod City. Let's go ahead and do this. Alrighty. Look at that. We're going back to Golden Rod. Alrighty. Alrighty. Okay. Well, it's been a while. It's been a minute or two. Or three, I don't know. But we are back in Golden Rod City. Johto. You know. That stuff. And, uh, huh. Would you look at that? Huh. So, here's a here's an individual here, guys, that, you know, I forgot to talk about. I believe it's around this time at night, Sundays, and I think it's after you defeated all the gym leaders. You can talk to this guy, and he can actually teach your Pokemon some pretty cool moves. I'm gonna, and yeah, it costs 400 coins, and uh, unfortunately, we don't have 400 coins with us, so we're probably gonna have to squander some money just to, you know, earn some, or just to get, just to get a move from this guy. And he actually does teach Pokemon some very, very good moves. So, let's see. Exchange your coins for fabulous prizes. No, not this one right here. Okay, so let's go talk to this guy and just use up some of our money right here. Let's see, thousand for fifty. Gonna, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be wow. I wonder. I wonder if we're gonna have enough money. Let's see. Okay, there we go. Okay, we're gonna have enough money to actually talk to this guy right here. Okay. So we have 4,007 coins right here. Now, if you talk to this guy and you do have 4,000 uh, coins, he can actually teach your Pokemon some pretty cool moves. So let's see. Which move should I teach? He can teach one of your Pokemon either Flamethrower, Thunderbolt, or Ice Beam. And uh, let's see. What does Flamethrower give me? Well, Cinder's the only one that knows it. And uh, well, I think I already have a Pokemon that knows Ice Beam, which is... You know, uh, Nessie, let's see. Let's go Thunderbolt right here. Who else can learn it? Kid Thunder and Nessie. And, uh, well, let's go with that Ice Beam and see what we what we can get. Let's see. 4,000, you won't regret it. Ice Beam, and we only have Nessie that can learn it. So, honestly, I really, I you know, I would teach Nessie Thunderbolt just as a way of, you know, screwing over some of the trainers, but, you know, I already have these moves, don't really need them, it's fine, it's cool, but thanks anyways, thanks, thanks, uh, it's not like I didn't really need it, anywho, we're gonna be doing some side quests right here, uh, I think in the last episode I did explain that we're gonna be going to the caves that we haven't visited in Johto, and the first cave that, you know, I had my eye on was the, you know, the very first cave we passed by in our, um, in our, in the beginning of our adventure, now I'm gonna be putting Nessie back into the, uh, to the storage and I do have the Pokemon for this whole occasion we're gonna be going into the dark cave and we're gonna be grabbing Volty yes I did evolve him off screen thinking that you know I could capture Suicune with this guy and uh, well I'm gonna teach him flash right here now three you need three different kinds of Pokemon for this adventure you need a Pokemon to notice rock smash strength and flash so that's exactly what I have right now it's just I need to boot this one up and teach it flash so Volty Come on, do me a favor right here. You can learn four moves, flash, and uh, well, I'm gonna take away light screen for the time being. It's not like I really need it, right? It's not like I'm gonna use you a lot, a lot right? Nah. Okay, so we got that taken care of, and uh, well, let's let's just go straight to uh, 
Let's go straight to uh, the dark cave right here. So first thing we need to do is go back to Violet Town or Violet City. See, I'm still saying Violet Town because it just looks like a town to me. And all we need to do now is just go right here. Go west or northeast. I'm sorry, east. And, uh, you know, past this guy and, that, and the tree. And all we got to do is, well, the dark cave right here. Now, I think the dark cave actually takes you to two different directions, both Blackthorn City and I think a, a certain route that I can't really remember. So we're going to just use Flash right here. And uh, look at that. Huh. I could have gone a little bit further. Now, if you guys remember, I did capture two of my Pokemon on, the, on my party here, both Toxic Batman and Teddy. And I did this all blind. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to... Let's see, where is it? Where is it? I thought I had repels here. The heck? Ah, oh, jeez. Okay. So I completely forgot about the repels. Alright. I know a place. I know of a place. Where I can get max repels. Blackthorn City. Alrighty. Sorry about that, guys. Completely forgot. Seriously forgot. Okay, so let's talk to this guy. Hey, where's my where's my max repels? I go right here, and I'm gonna buy quite a few. You know what? I'm gonna buy. I'm gonna buy 30. I'm pretty sure we're gonna need all 30 of these uh, max repels right here. Okay, now let's go back to dark to the dark cave. Okay, back to Violet Town or Violet City. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. And uh, this time I'm gonna get. Actually, I'm gonna get on my bike. And I'm just gonna go all the way right here. Look at that. Very simple. Quick, simple, effective. Here we are. Dark cave. Okay, now let's go back to that flash technique that we taught you. Alrighty, okay, so let's do this. Let's go right ahead and explore this whole cave, if we can. You will be able to find quite a few Pokemon right here, like Wobbuffet, Dunsparce, and all that stuff, including uh, Teddy Ursa. Just remember that Teddy Ursa likes to avoid uh, or evade uh, Pokemon trainers. So you need to get a, a, what, a fastball for that kind of stuff. Dunsparce, I do not know much about that. Comment down below if you do. Here we go with the Rock Smash right here. And, uh, well, there's nothing right here except for that Rock Smash fucking rock. And, uh, well, I'm going to surf. And, uh, well, leads me back to the same thing right here. Except for that one place that I forgot. Let's go up right here, and there's an entrance, and uh, it leads us to a different place right here. Now, we can't do anything right now, but if we find the entrance elsewhere, then we can. So, we're going to be just uh, surfing and uh, rock smashing a bunch of stuff along the way right here, guys. So, here we go, rock smash. There we go. Get on my bike. That's right. Makes me feel uh, very, very elusive right here, and... Uh, Gotta love Rock Smash. Look at that. Rock Smash. Not going there. And, uh, let's see. Oh, look at that. An item. Full heal. That's some good stuff. Let's see. I kind of. Oh, look at that. There's an entrance right there. And I believe that leads us to the route closest to, uh, I'd like to say Route 10 ish? Nah, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm BSing right now, guys. Don't really know my routes for my my gyms and all that stuff, so I'm just gonna take a I'm just gonna take a look right there and uh, oh should probably go there first right here grab that got ourselves another dire hit which we probably don't need for the time being so let's see where we lead ourselves to oh we are in route 46 and if you guys remember we were here a few episodes ago battling people coming down from Blackthorn City. Now, that's one right there. Now we gotta head into the other place right here, and of course the rock just regenerates out of nowhere. Now, there we go. It's another Pokemon. Please let it be a Dunsparce. No! Damn you, Krabby. Ugh. Krabby the Crabs. Alright, let's move on. We gotta move on right here. We can't be battling these Pokemon. You know, make them look small right here. And, uh, thank Arceus for the max repels. So I'm going to be using another one right here. Uh, where are you? Oh, there we go. 
And, uh, you know what? I might use that rare candy a little bit later, just to make some space in my bag right here. Let's grab... Well, let's go ahead and just break this thing right here. And, of course, another Pokemon tries to attack us. Why can't you be a Dunsparge? Seriously. That's like the only Pokemon that I have kind of an interest in capturing, but that's about it. Let's see. Oh, we found an elixir. That's great. Gravy. Okay. It's usually a cool place to find it. And, uh, oh, look at that. Found ourselves a hyper potion. That's good. That's also good. Finding some good items right here. And, uh, well, that's pretty much it for this place right here. There's not a lot of stuff that, that offer or that gives you anything, right? Huh. So look at that. Hmm. Where am I? Kinda wonder where I'm at. Did I take that injury? Oh, no I didn't. Okay, okay, I know where I'm at. Let's see. Let's see, okay, so we already passed that place. There should be more right here. Should I? Huh. Okay, so that's pretty much it for rock, uh, the rock or dark cave, uh, ver a Violet City version. So we're gonna be going up to Blackthorn City, and uh, you know, exploring that portion of a uh, of uh, the dark cave. So here we are, back in the Blackthorn City, and we're gonna be going back down right here. And uh, let's see, I think this is it. Yes, dark cave. Seriously thought that you could have like found some more entrances right there. I could be wrong. I mean, wow, it's been a while since I've been in here. And here we are in Dark Cave, the other uh, portion of it, and yeah, okay. Hopefully we don't find ourselves with any other Pokemon right here. And, huh. The, the, the decision to find uh, items, and there's an item right there. So you could have stopped right here at any point. Huh. Okay. Hmm. I could have sworn there was. There could have been a little bit more to this than than what I'm seeing right now. I'm. I, I kind of feel a little disappointed right now. So let's go ahead and grab some items. And uh, well, let's see, we found ourselves a revive. Good, good. It's gonna help us in potential battles right there. And uh, let's see. Oh, there's. Oh no, no. Oh god. Okay, I messed up. Completely messed up on this one right here. Screwed the pooch. Screwed the pooch big time, guys. Okay. So I gotta go back. Back all the way. Wow. See, this is exactly what happens. If you mess up, you gotta go all the way back. Alright. Back to Blackthorn City. And luckily, you know, this is all about Dark Cave, not anything else right now. I think in the next episode, we will be going into, like, what? Maybe the uh, Mount Mordor or something. Or, you know what? The Ruins of Alf. So, let's see. Let's see. Flash. That's right. The flash technique. Alright, no more horsing around right here. Let's just take a look at the last portion of this cave. Because apparently, that. Yeah, you know, we are in the last portion of this cave. And, uh. Hmm. You can go up right here. And. Oh, there's a guy right there! Wonder who that is. Let's see. There could be a hidden item right here. No, there's no hidden item. Okay. So if you go up right here, you might battle this guy, maybe? Whoa, you startled me there. I had my black glasses on, so I didn't notice you at all. What am I doing here? Hey, don't you worry about it. I'll give you a pair of black glasses, so forget you ever saw me here. Huh. Okay, so you get black glasses right here. Huh. Black glasses up the power of dark type Pokemon. Huh. Kind of seems like very anticlimactic right there, don't you guys think? It really does. It really feels anticlimactic right there. Okay. Um, we still need that item that we need that we need to grab. And of course, the repel has worn off. Um, let's go with that max repel right here. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what we didn't get, and then get the H out of here. Um, right here. Right here. You know, there might be an item right up there. And we found ourselves a TM-13. I'm pretty sure that's Ice Beam. Is it? Huh, let's see, let's see, let's see. T 
TM13 Ice Beam, right? I know many of you guys are saying right. No, it's Snore. In this version, it's Snore. Why in the hell do we need Snore? Oh, God. Yeah, this is very anticlimactic. The heck? The heck is going on right here? What in tarnation is going on? Okay, we don't need to go there, there, or there. Okay. Alrighty, so... Wow, that was, uh... Yeah, it was very anticlimactic right there. Okay, so... Huh. Alrighty, guys. That's pretty much it for the for the dark cave. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, so in the next episode, we are staying in Violet City. We're going to be going into the ruins of Alf, and there's going to be a few things that we're going to be exploring around there. There's actually a lot of things. We're going to be exploring a lot of things that leads into the ruins of Alf, and it's all going to be covered in the next episode. So stay tuned, guys. I'll be back for another episode of our Pokemon Crystal Walkthrough. See ya.